Hi drummers, I'm Andy and this is Aaron. We're here with Africa Harwood Project to introduce you to the Ghanaian Gili, made by cultural artisans supported by Africa Harwood Project. Uh, we call these the classic Harwood Gili. Um, they are traditional instruments uh, in Ghana and they come in four sizes. There's a 14 key, 12 key, 10 key, and 8 key. They're constructed with a hardwood frame um, that is held together with sinew and rope. It's got goat skin holding uh, the joints together as well as twine and synthetic rope. Uh, you can see that the shape of the frame uh, rakes from uh, so that the lower notes are higher up to make room for the large gourds that are on the bottom. Uh, the instrument is made by carving out each hardwood uh, key and tuned to a precise note. And that, that we have other videos on our YouTube channel where you can learn and see the artisans actually tuning and making the, the keys. Um, the gourd on the bottom is to resonate to amplify the sound and also to fine-tune the sound. So it's not just any gourd that goes underneath the key, it's the right size gourd. Um, these uh, Geely can have buzzing s effect or not. Uh, some come with it, some don't, uh, but when it does buzz it's intentional because holes are placed in the gourd with uh, plastic or cellophane over the top of it, so like a kazoo when air uh, passes through it, it creates a buzzing sound. Um, there, these Gili, uh, made by our cultural artisans, are tuned to C pentatonic. Uh, the C, uh, the the eight key uh, is is this section of the fourteen key. So it's two octaves. The ten key will add two more notes above the 8 key, and the 12 key adds another two notes above that. But C is the bottom note on the 8, 10, and 12 key. The 14 key adds five notes, or a whole pentatonic octave, below what the 10, 12, and 8 key offer. Uh, and the gourds have to get um, appropriately larger to match those notes, which is why the 14 key is such a large instrument. Um, we should also note that uh, some people call these kinds of instruments xylophone, marimba, bala, balaphone, geely. Um, those different terms actually refer to different instruments. Their tuning, their, how they're built, um, the sound that's produced, um, and the culture that they come from. So we call these geely because they come from Ghana and that is what they're called in that uh, country and that culture. So Aaron and I are going to give you a short uh, improvised demonstration of the 14 key and the 10 key to get an idea of, of the, the sound that these produce. We're playing with um, recycled rubber mallets uh, just on wood, hardwood dowels. And this rubber, I think, looks like it comes from like vehicle tires that have been recycled. Shall we give it a go? Let's do it. All right. You can learn more about the Geely from Africa Howard Project, the people who make them, and where you can purchase them online or in music stores at our website, africaheartwoodproject.org slash drums. Thank you. Thank you.